Hello all, I have just finished one of my first major builds in Valheim. This is a modded build, but it really didn't have to be, and I'm kind of regretting using mods, because I think it caused me to be a little less creative than I could be. However, here we go. I just wanted to give you a little walking tour of it. This is the Grand Temple of Loki. Here is the entrance. As you can see, uh, things are based a little bit off of a cathedral, but also a little bit off of Conan Exile style builds to ancient gods. And if you come out here and ignore the materials over there, you can see that it's quite larger than you would think. So let's go in to the temple and see what's going on. As you can see, when we go up here, we have a nice, beautiful fountain that was modded in from, I believe, Build It. And we have from the Clutter Mod two grand statues of Odin. And of course, just like a parish would, you come here to talk with your family and friends, talk with your problems. You know, what can Loki, what can Odin help you with? I hope your family gets better. I hope your family gets uh, better from whatever economic or social troubles they're going through, whatever it is. And this is going to be the center for a larger town. You can see I have it marked on my map uh, in the M. We have the Grand Temple of Loki. Uh, now, when it comes to the interior, you'll notice when we go in here... Actually, you know what? That side has the um, has my workbench and it has my forge in it, so we're just going to close that. I still have to fill the room up with clutter and everything, but other than that, it's great. So, we go in here... And what we have are wolfskin rugs symbolizing Fenrir. And actually, that's not something I showed you yet over here. Uh, we actually have two ravens here, which are very common for Odin. But then if you go all the way up here, you can see... And we'll actually show you that once I show you the roof. Actually, that'll be good. I'll show you the roof later. Okay. So then we go further in here, and you see there's this nice chamber. You go up, so we'd have people coming in here, and you'd greet each other here, and you'd talk to each other. You know, if this was like, I don't know, a modern temple, you'd have donuts and coffee lying out, and everyone's talking, and everyone's enjoying each other's company. And then as you slowly get more serious, and you come into it, can you tell that I was raised uh, coffee and donuts? Can you tell that I was, uh, I was a non-denominational kid? All right. Uh, <laughs> but uh, uh, you come in here. Let me close those to make more, more cinematic. Uh, you come in here, and then everyone is kind of in this single-file line, and they have this window behind them with all the nice outdoors, and they go through the uh, the specific crystal pane. Uh, that comes from a mod as well, but this crystal pane is to symbolize mistletoe. So you see the vines here. That's to symbolize mistletoe, which is associated with Loki killing Baldur. So then we have that here, and then you come into this first area down here, and that's one of our NPCs that I found and dragged in here. Um, he is going to be the wolf priest of this general sanctuary. And we have, let me just put on my light. Boom. Uh, we have troll skin rugs covering this place. And these troll skin rugs, more or less, again, you have a place where people are talking and meeting, uh, with each other. And let me, um, hopefully this doesn't break the, <laughs> break the build. <laughs> okay, it didn't destroy any yikes. It didn't destroy anything. Okay, it didn't destroy anything. Um, but this is where people would be talking, and the reason I just made it darker again is because you want to showcase this nice crystal roof. So whether you're at night or during the day, you would come and you would still be able to enjoy this beautiful scenery. This guy has a different weapon every time I talk to him. I don't know what's wrong with you. I've, I originally named him Gandalf, but, uh, Carcule, tame and hungry. Well, Carcule, the wolf priest. This is Carcule, the wolf priest. He's a good dude. He's doing his best. He's worshiping Loki. And here is the main chamber. And the main chamber is where we come to get sermons. This is the only place I kind of have internally decorated. It's the main place we come to get sermons. And I want to get that nice shot of Loki in the background there with the green fire. Uh, the Jormunder statues, which is what I, I say the dragon is. Um, the Drake actually looks a lot like Conan Exiles. But anyway, the crystal pane windows you can see here. The outside, it's very much a chapel. You have a couple of altars. You have offerings in terms of money, offerings in terms of candles being lit for the dead, uh, which, again, is another thing I took, kind of mixing Catholic with Norse. And then we have the loot box. And right now, of course, I just have iron. I have a bronze sword and everything in there because I'm just taking that. But we would read from the books of Loki and the scrolls of Loki. And the lore behind the village that I am starting and the city that I am trying to build in Valheim is actually a city of druids, alchemists, and scholars that are attracted and formed together in a very hermeticist style, but mixing that with Norse mythology to 
Loki. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way back out and we'll go back out the other way that we came in. You'll see the workbench and the forge, so just ignore that. Um, but what you'll see is that we're going to go for a little bit of a fly. So let me just, um, uh, let me, let me dev commands. Man's God and ghost and then F5. And then we'll go out here and we will come right here and we will go for a little fly, go for a little fly time. And the hardest part of this build, as you can probably guess, was the foundation. Let me get the... Oh, let me get the light out. Okay. So as you can probably tell, the hardest part for this build was the foundation. Going up here to symbolize Fenrir, we have three wolf heads, one black metal, two wood. You can see the roofs are a mixture of singular panels going back and forth. And then also logs, which I tried to make as symmetrical as possible. Um, moving into our crystal roof, we have two blue torches up here for lighting. I kind of want to do, and I, I hope they don't get angry at me, but I kind of want to copy the Bifrost thing that uh, Jirok the Viking did with his thing. I really enjoyed it. I, I don't want to do a group server right now, but I really love Jirok the Viking's... Um, ah, Jirok the Viking's recreation of Marvel's uh, Asgard. I really love that. And he did the Bifrost. And what he did was he had the crystal and he put various tortures of different colors up here. And that's definitely what I might want to do. Uh, now we go up here. And of course, to symbolize Jormundur, we have three serpentine dragon heads up here to wooden one black metal again. And then, of course, here from the black metal, we have a beautiful blue eyes white dragon, which is just what it makes me think of. But it's just a white dragon over here. And you can see from the background how strong this is. It does look something look like something out of Conan Exiles, uh, another game where you can build, but I just prefer Valheim so much better uh, because of the more freedom that it gives me. I also just love the art style more. I like that this is secluded near a tree. Inevitably, I did choose to do it with meadows, but if you look on this uh, world map right here, I did fly around a lot of biomes to see what I wanted to build in. I was very tempted to do the plains because originally it was going to be a Witcher school build. A lot of you know that I'm working on that as well, but I figured I'd need to make a town first, then I'd have like a Monster Hunters Guild. And then after the Monster Hunters Guild, I would have, uh, a, you know, th that would be the Witcher School effectively. And then I would also build basically Conan style settlements. And of course, why not start with Nordheimer culture and start with uh, sort of a Norse culture, sort of Loki worshippers here. Uh, and that's sort of what I do. That's sort of what I do. I'm, I'm a hermeticist in my philosophy, so many of you know that I have a love or a soft spot for the trickster gods of all religions, whether it's Anansi, Loki, Hermes, uh, it doesn't really matter, uh, Hanuman, uh, I love them all, uh, who's also a Conan god, in addition to being a real Hindu god, by the way, Hanuman. But yeah, this is the Grand Temple of Loki. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, please come back for more. Oh, also, last thing, uh, we have Celtic idols over here. Just to set things up, we have an owl, which is a general symbol for wisdom, a bear, which is a symbol for love, and a general Celtic, you know, authoritative, fatherly king statue. And, of course, we, we open here, and you can see the pile of gold and the green torches in the background, a little bit in there. Uh, one thing I really do love about the Valheim world space, and I understand why it kills so many PCs, is that everything is just one. And I just love that so much. Unlike the Unreal Engine 4, because like, I will say Conan Exiles is harder on my computer, meaning it heats up more. But uh, but no, this this is just this is good. Anyway, goodbye.